everyone, welcome back. And this will be the number two bonsai video. This will be bonsai pots and tools. Um, first things first, this is a bonsai pot. Basically what the Chinese and Japanese would call this would just be a tree and a tray. And this would be your tray, or the pot would be the tray. They come in many different shapes and sizes. This is just a regular square one at, with a glazed coating on it that you can get in any garden nursery or bonsai supplier like Stone Lantern or Dallas Bonsai Nursery. They come in sh uh, shapes like this. This is actually for the cascading bonsai. Tree would go inside here and then cascade over the side of the pot. Um, that's if you choose to have that sort of a uh, bonsai tree. They come in different sizes. Obviously they have a little bit larger than what I was showing you. They also have different textures. This one here is a mica pot or Korean mica pot. It's got more of a, a matte finish than this glaze finish. It's just a different way they fire the clay and it's also I think a different clay they use. They also come in really tiny pots for six inch bonsai and I'll go over the sizes of different bonsai and what they're called as well. Not in this video but another one. So basically this go over the bonsai pot itself. You have the pot, typically you'll have a tray underneath. Um, the inside looks like this. Okay. You got two drain holes, which are this one and this one. And then you'll have these little holes that you're seeing here, and these little holes are for your wire. That's from when you put your tree in the pot after you got it situated where you want it to go. The wire gets pushed through the bottom, out to the top, and you wrap the wire around the root ball of the tree so that way the tree doesn't move when you finally get it where you want it to be. So it has time to establish itself with the root system, you know, right after you pot it. Wow, it's just been a long day. <laughs> so, moving on, what you want to do is you will actually have a choice here of different mesh. And it's a mess over here. You got the standard mesh that it comes with, which usually you can get these in sheets or um, if you buy the pot, it may already be inside the pot. Or if you have bought a bonsai from the mall or a bonsai supplier or nursery, what have you, typically this may be in the bottom of the pot if you decide to repot it or the bonsai died, you find this in there. This is just a really thick plastic mesh that keeps the bonsai medium from draining out through those holes. However, you can get away with using this which is a uh, vent screen. It's for keeping pests out of vents around your house, your dryer vents and so forth. It comes in very large rolls. I've had this for, I can't tell you how long. You don't use many pieces. I mean, the pieces you're cutting off of it are pretty much this big. So you don't use a lot of it. And I'd recommend if you're trying to save a little bit of money, you don't have to go out and buy things like this, but if you choose to, go right ahead. But this will save you some money and it's easy to cut yourself and I'll show you how to wire it up. What you're going to do <clears throat> is you are going to go get a piece of wire. Now you got two different types of wire too. You got your traditional, I know it's a little curly. I had to video edit how many times I actually wrapped this wire to make it work. Now it's all curled out. So this wire is the thick aluminum wire that you'll get with um, the rolls of bonsai wire that you buy from an actual supplier. This is actually jewelry wire. I believe the gauge is about 8 gauge. This is an 8 gauge jewelry wire. It's copper colored. They actually have darker colors if you choose to have something more like this. What you're going to do to make this, you're going to need a couple things. The wire, cut it to size, and a pencil or a chopstick. First things first, you're just going to bend the wire in half. Make sure it looks pretty even. Just bend the wire in half, like so. Then what you're going to do is just kind of you can use the pencil if you choose and just kind of bend it around like so. Just bend it around this way. Okay, now you're left with what looks like a big W or an M depending on which way you're looking at it. You just continue those loops around. Okay, just continue them whichever way they're going. Just continue those loops until you look until you have something that looks kind of like that. Okay? So what you want to do is you get your pot. You have to pre-cut this mesh so it fits over those drain holes. Make sure you center it. Kind of remember where the center is. You're going to put your clip, put the 
mesh on the clip, it makes it so much easier. And you're going to try to fit that clip into that drain hole. Flip it over, and what you want to do is you flip it over, and you're going to want to pull on that clip and then bend these legs over. Okay? And pinch them against the bottom of the pot. And then what you're going to do is the same thing you're going to do on the reverse. You're going to pinch and push that clip over and make sure that these legs underneath are flat against the pot. All right? That's what's going to hold your that's what's going to hold your mesh into place once you get it set. And you could do that with every pot and just about any size wire. You don't actually have to do that. I mean, what you really can do, I mean, if you really are not into making those, that weird little design, and I'll use the curly pre-edited wire, just bend it over like so. Push it in. We'll just pretend there's mesh there. Push this through. Do the same thing. You're going to push it through. You're going to pull the legs tight. Okay? You're left with this tab sticking up inside. You just bend that tab over on top of the mesh. The other way is just a little more artsy and more traditional. And that really is basically it for it, to make it simple. Um, to do your why part of it, I went to the dollar store and I picked up these. Looks like a bonsai pot, but ha, it's not. This is a dollar store nacho bowl. That's right, a nacho bowl. And we can make this into a bonsai pot by a power drill with a 3 8 bit. All you want to do is just you know, turn it over however you want to work it. Just drill it. And there you go. I'm not actually going to drill it because I already, I already drilled this one. So you'll end up with a little hole. You'll put your mesh over that and your little clip. And since this has already got the built-in legs, this will actually work out pretty good. I actually have luck bamboo planted in something, so actually one of these in, in my office desk, and they grow fine. What you also can use, too, are little um, serving dishes and things that you find at a, at a yard sale or um, a state sale. They could be decorative pots or bowls, but you'd have to change the bit. That bit won't work with it. You'll have to get a, a tile or glass cutting bit. And that'll require a little bit of water and a little bit of patience. Because um, the tile, the ceramic bowls are very hard and that glaze is tough to get through. But you can do it. So there's not saying you could. You could also use a saucer, a deep um, ter a terracotta saucer. And as long as it's deep enough, it can't be a shallow saucer. It's got to be a deep saucer for uh, a flower pot. You can use those. And they work pretty fun. They work good too. I've actually used them before. The only thing is they don't hold as much dirt as a traditional pot would do. But if you are in press for time and you don't want to buy a pot and you want to just do it yourself because you have the stuff, by all means, your tree, do what you want. Um, tools. Very simple. Two tools that I recommend you actually go out and buy. This is called the concave cutter. It has, if you look at it, it's got concave bits to it. They're actually kind of curved inward and then very sharp. They are meant to take bites out of a tree, and I'll show you how to you know, work with this as we go along. Um, it takes a deep bite and a gouge. What it does is it gouges out enough wood to allow for the cambium layer of the tree to roll over and seal a wound shut neatly without a bump or leaving an ugly scar. These are called side cutters. You can use these, or actually, either make, they're made on an angle so you can get in at a branch and basically get as close as you can to the base of the branch and nip it off, and then use the concave cutters to get rid of it completely so it'll just heal over and you'll have a nice smooth bark because it'll the bark and the cambium labor will roll over and fill in the space. And every time you use your tools, just like you do if you're messing with orchids, you want to sterilize them because you don't want to transfer something from tree to tree. Um, wire cutters, very simple. These are, I think they were just a Home Depot type wire cutter. You don't need the bonsai wire cutters. A little broom <clears throat> or a brush. You don't have to use this. This came with the tools, but this is basically just a little brush that you go over and you can you know, brush off when you're done working with your tree. Or, you know, if the tree's dirty, you brush off moss or algae off the bark. A chopstick of some sort. 
That way you can actually tamp dirt with it and actually work the, uh, the, the medium around the roots. A plastic or wire brush. You can clean pots with these or you can scrape off uh, stuff growing on the tree or like a salt deposit like over here. You can see some of the, they get like these little salt deposits or mineral deposits from either the water or from the fertilizer and they always collect either around the pot or down on the bottom. And this helps you just get in there and just get it off. And then last but not least, a pair of tweezers. That way you can get in there and work and pick off leaves or what have you and when you need to. Scissors, got another one. These are bonsai scissors. Um, they come in all sizes. I have this one is a medium size. I have one larger and then I have a little tiny one for leaves. You can use these or you can get away with using a Fisker scissors or any kind of a pruning scissors as long as it has a sharp edge to it so you can get in there and really detailly like nip out. This I would probably use to get in there and do something like these you would probably get in there and cut into the tree but you can also just like nip off branch, like nip off uh, little branches and then leaves. Other than that, that's really basically all for the bonsais and tool video. I mean, we'll do another video on soil and making your own soil and potting medium, and then eventually we'll move into different sizes of trees and then the types of trees we're going to use. All right? All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good night. Take it easy, and uh, I'll talk to you later.